Hi, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. So we've got a question from another fellow boarder named Dan. Dan has a phenomenal question that as boarders we're gonna always or constantly face. And he asks, I'm wondering what's the best way to join two wires into one in a most safe and waterproof way. Something like where you have two nav lights in parallel or a single feed from the helm. So when it comes to actually joining wires together, the best way of doing it is actually the terminal strips. So this is a device uh, that basically has a connector on one side and another connector on the other, and you can actually put in ring connectors. And the reason why you want to be able to join these wires together, the terminal strip, is that using butt connectors where you crimp one connector on one wire and another the same connector on the other and you join two wires is fraught with problems because the joints of where wires connect together are generally this single point of failure that's very likely so by putting terminal strips and joining your wires with the terminal strips it becomes a really easy way for us boulders to inspect that connection point later down the road you can put a multimeter there and you can actually see if you have a good connection or not by crimping and using a butt connector, you really have to be knowledgeable and make sure that you know and you won't be able to measure if you've got a good connection or not. So on my own boat, even though I think I'm pretty proficient at doing crimps, I actually use terminal strips everywhere because it's a great way for me to later on go up, oh, I wonder what the voltage is. And I can expect that voltage further and farther or closer and closer to the load. So terminal strips is a really good way. And the other thing, if you need to make it waterproof, then what you would end up doing is putting inside a junction box with these glands on either side. And it's a way for you to make sure that your, your connection between two wires is done in a basically sealed box. And electricians use those boxes all the time. You can buy those boxes at an electrical sort of contracting place. And you'll have glands that allow to shrink down so that no moisture or humidity gets in and it's sort of waterproof. Um, so that's how I would join two wires on a boat without using butt connectors. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now. And also, thanks for watching.